Hey fellow face and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to make like a short update video on my meal plan video because I didn't really get anything like I didn't get everything I wanted to. You can still use this as like a plan if you want to of course and I still like to create recipes and everything but um, I want to update you guys on what I plan on eating, what I eat because I'm broke, I have sensory issues, I'm a vegetarian, I have food allergies and I of course um, struggle with disordered habits sorry I like um, it's, it's early in the morning and I'm like kind of having some hiccups right now <laughs> I'm also trying a filter for the first time and stuff so I don't know I don't even know why there's like some sunlight thing coming in here but that's fine um, I have my book where I write things down in scrapbook style by the way and I'm, by the way, not really hiding my face, I just prefer this way for this channel, but like, if you want to see my face and what I look like, there are several pictures out there. I have other channels where you see me, and if you're from an old channel, or from my Tumblr, or from my Instagram, you know me, you know what I look like, and you can sometimes see me going down or something. I just prefer it this way for, like, my own personal comfort. Um, stuff has happened, so like, I'm just, like, sitting in bed and with my blankets around me, as you can tell, and I haven't done my hair or anything, so sorry for that. But I made a basic grocery plan yesterday, and yeah, I also came up with some like a few days ago some like um basic broke meal plan things and a rough diet idea. Generally, diet. I don't mean it in the way of like losing weight diet, but more of like what's kind of doing it for me. And I like to point out that I focus on fiber and protein because that's important to me. But everyone has to figure out for themselves what they want to focus on. Although usually dietitians and whatever agree on like that people should focus on getting enough protein and getting enough fiber because processed foods usually tend to have more fat and carbs and unhealthy fats especially. Um, I'm not saying that these are bad in moderation if you have like saturated fats and like whatever. And I'm not saying that I'm like a dietitian or anything right now. Um, and we all still need carbs and fats, especially good carbs and fats like, you know, Whole Foods kind of deal, whatever. We, I think people that view this video know what I'm talking about. If not, um, please do your own research. But like for basic groceries, I've got. I, I hope that I like put some like pictures in here. I will probably have to move a little bit so that I can put pictures here um, of what I'm like talking about, so that you can follow along a little bit. Um, for basic groceries, I've got brown rice, potatoes, oats, legume pasta, protein bread, and yes, I prefer protein bread over other breads because it's just it's more like. Um, of course it has some protein, but also it just tastes better to me personally, at least the one that I use. Um, chopped almonds, prunes, raisins and dark chocolate, canned beans and lentils or like legumes, pickles. I have kimchi in quotations because that's not really like I use vegetarian kimchi or vegan kimchi. It's not really kimchi, it's like kimchi inspired pickled cabbage, you could say, in carrots. Um, but it's kind of expensive, so it's more of a luxury item. Olives and jalapenos. Um, and as you can hopefully see here, I've categorized things a little bit for myself. Frozen wedge and frozen food. And then we go over to like other things like bananas, seasonal fruit, cabbage, carrots, tomatoes, zucchini, pak choy. I miss cucumbers on this list, by the way. So I'll just note that down. I have pak choy in quotations, not in quotations, but in like, you know, as well because it's like more of a luxury item if I feel like putting it, or like if I have the spare money, I, I could buy it and put it into my ramen and stuff. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Cucumbers. I'm just a very picky eater as well. Like I've always been, so like I'm pretty picky about what I eat. I don't even like bananas, but I like bacon with them. Then I have light cheese, bezel, which is like I don't know. I would probably like recommend not using this, but because like these light frosts usually are like mostly made of water. But you know, I like to use it. I have vegan at vegan alternatives also in quotations or whatever in paraphrases. Sorry. Um, I think that's the wrong term. Whatever. <laughs> Because it's um, kind of expensive, but it's in the luxury item. But like, I really like to use them, as you could tell. Like, if you can't, if you haven't watched any of my what I eat days or my grocery rolls, you probably don't know. But like, I like to use them, and I've eaten them; they're delicious. Then I have quark, which is like a dairy thing, high protein, Greek yogurt, and protein milk rice, which is also like a luxury item. But I will go over like my meal plan so that this grocery list will make more sense, I guess. So you're hopefully still seeing like something here to follow along with. For my meal plan, I plan on drinking because I drink like a lot of water and I like to add, I don't know, 
Do I have it around by now? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not. I don't want to talk about water talk or whatever, but I like to use this sugar free syrup for my water because I have some. Sometimes I love to drink just tap water. It's healthy. It's refreshing. But at the moment I struggle a little bit with that, so I mix some of that with my water, and I will have like one of these, and usually have like a little bit more water on the side or whatever. Because not enough, not because I force myself to drink it, but because I'm usually very thirsty because of my medications and because I like to. I would love to reduce my salt intake, but I love salty foods, so like I drink a lot of water. So one to two, two one to two gallons of water a day. Um, I have a maximum of two energies a day, um, and one soft drink max. It's so like I drink iced tea or like some zero thing, and. I calculate with like one big bottle of like max soft drink. It depends on my day. I used to, there are days where I don't drink any soft drinks whatsoever except for like one energy or something. Um, this is by the way my get back into like having healthier habits kind of deal plan. So just saying that. Um, take a multivitamin daily. I usually take a lot more vitamins, especially during my period, but also like usually I take magnesium and everything because I struggle a lot with pain in my body and magnesium helps it like in general. Please don't like just take any supplement that you find, make your research, take a look at that you don't like overdo it with the supplements either, and that you don't overdo it with water, and that you don't underdo it either. And I personally like to fast 16 to 20 hours per day because I just feel better with that. Like there are days where I go like because of stress or whatever, I will like not eat for 20 hours. And there are days where I just do the 16, 18, 16, eight kind of plan. So for breakfast within the week, we are talking Monday to Friday, even though it doesn't really make any difference for me because I'm on disability. Oh, and I would probably also like start like going to get groceries from... Um, is it, I think it's Charity Place, you would call it, it translates to that. But like, I could go there every week and get the groceries for like... That, that the grocery stores would have thrown out for cheaper or where they had the groceries that expired and stuff. So like I will like post groceries uh, hauls about like of that as well, <clears throat> and I'm going to try to upload like two to three videos on this channel as well in the future. I don't know when that will start, but I will let you know in the videos and on my Tumblr. Um, if you want to know what my Tumblr is, you can just post a comment and I will like tell you because I don't want to link it everywhere because that's a place where I actually talk numbers. And as you guys probably know from my last videos, I don't like to talk numbers. Um, of course, I like mention numbers of how much water and how long fasting, whatever, but like, I don't like to calories, weight, whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, for breakfast, I will have like a banana oat muesli and crack and quick yogurt, that's my plan at least, within the week. Um, I will DIY the banana oat muesli thing, because I don't like eating bananas like that, but they have some good things to it and they're less expensive, whatever. Um, for lunch, I would like to have pasta or rice with vegetables and legumes. And for like a dessert, I will have like dark chocolate, a piece of fruit, and some prunes. Prunes are very underrated in my opinion. I love prunes. When you have watched some of my videos, you will know that. I just like love prunes. Don't overdo it on those either. But they have like lots of positive benefits to them. Please do your own research again. I did mine and I'm very happy with it. And I, they keep you regular, but they also like because they provide a lot of fiber, but they also have like a lot of like vitamins and minerals that are like beneficial and. It's said that it prevents like some type of like digestive cancer thing. I don't even know, but like I know, but like I can't really translate it because I did my research uh, in German, so you know. Um, for dinner, I'm going to have protein bread with toppings, which is like not a restrictive food over here. It's like normal food to eat just a piece of bread, cold bread with like some butter or margarine or like cream cheese and cheese on top or like some sausage on top or whatever. Um, but I will usually probably go for like light cheese. I have this on that package here. Um, for example. <laughs> and as a dessert I will have dark chocolate and prunes. I don't specify how much because I don't... Like, some days I crave like two or three pieces of dark chocolate, some days there's like one piece of dark chocolate and like maybe two prunes or five prunes or whatever. But like, like if I don't overdo the prunes, it will have like a bad effect on your, on your gut health um, and will cause cramps and everything. And of course I'm not playing like... This is, this is my basic meal plan. And if I can afford like some more luxury items like lentil crisps, um, sweets, other things that I would like to have, I will have those. And for like lunch, I will sometimes vary between like instant ramen and, for example, like yum pasta. I'm like just if I have some right here right now because I have some. I haven't put everything away. So, for example, green bean penny. 
for the weekends I'm planning on having like a protein milk rice, which is like rice porridge, milk rice porridge, I guess, uh, with chopped almonds. Almonds are supposed to be very healthy as well, but I just want to kind of recreate a dish that is called Riz Alamang, but like just like in a lazy way because I am too depressed to really cook a lot. <clears throat> for lunch, I want to have potatoes with vegetables and a protein. So that's like kind of open what kind of protein it is as well. And the dessert doesn't really vary there, like dark chocolate, a piece of fruit and prunes. And the piece of fruit is probably just seasonal fruit right now, it's pears, but I'll probably get like some um, plums. We call it Svetschen because they're not normal plums, they're more sour and everything. But also like a lot of sugar apricots or berries, um, persimmons are great. But I'm kind of picky about my fruits, so like, you know. And for dinner I want to have a ready meal, it's all fast food, because that's just... I like to have those and they, like in moderation it's fine and like I still want to have that kind of a balanced diet. I've been in this shit hole for like a long time at this point and yeah, so I treat myself like it does, it's not great for my body, I don't feel great afterwards, but it's like food is like not good or bad inherently at all. It's just like some things are better for your body, some things are better for your mental state and like I want to be able to have like my fries or like some tater tots or like some pizza or whatever sometimes so that's what I'm going to do and since the weekends are very hard for me personally mentally I like to have it then and maybe if I can afford it I will even have takeout or something and for desserts of course dark chocolate and prunes like I said if I can afford anything else I will do that and yeah, this list doesn't include like other things that I've started to to track. It's like how much monster I would need. Like I buy it by subscribe and save because it's cheaper for me that way. Two to six soft drinks, which means two to why two to six? Oh, it depends on the month. Like I will like order that via subscribe and save as well. There are some months where I can do with like one six pack of soft drinks. So other times I will have like more like packs of soft drinks because I order smaller bottles or whatever. Um, I brought down pills, which means supplement pills for me. And my water syrup that I like will start ordering a two liter thing of. But yeah. I don't know. I just. This channel is like, of course, like. People that stumble across it are probably eating disorders as well. And recovery should always be like the thing that people should strive for. But there are people like me that are just not going to recover anytime soon. Uh, I've attempted several times. And. It doesn't work for me, but I think it's very important to preach harm reduction. And I watch a lot of like of herbs and altars and got like a lot of like new ways to look at certain things from them or him in this case from Dorian. And yeah, so that's why I'm sharing these things and tips because they're like harm reduction tips to me. Um, if you're like a person that doesn't struggle with an eating disorder or like disordered eating in any way of shape or form. Um, I'm just like, you know, please try to view it from, please try to view it as, uh, from the perspective of a person who struggles a lot and drinking some water with like flavoring in it is better than drinking no water, in my personal opinion. Being open to more foods or being like seeing other people eat different foods can help people to maybe in, like incorporate those foods that will like help them feel better and deliver more nutrients to them and maybe just like get them out of like, uh, I just, I will just, I just have like five safe foods and maybe I can try this food, maybe. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I just want to say that I've been in this for two decades and like this specific thing where I like got like mentally into things and looked things up has been well over a decade, I think around a decade at this point. Um, I'm no expert by any means, but I just hope that I can help some people. And yeah, I will see you guys next time to a new video, I hope. Bye face.